Thank you. Happy birthday. Yeah. Best birthday for you in terms of cricketing, in cricketing terms? I think so, yeah. I mean, uh, I'm not able to remember last time I played a game on my birthday, but yeah, this one was special, so it's nice. How was the pitch today? Do you think it was really flat? It was a flat wicket. Uh, it was stopping a little bit, you know, tough to drive on until you got set. But uh, overall, it was a good wicket. I mean, it had a lot of runs for both the teams, so it was a good uh, one-day wicket. And uh, you and Virat Kohli both really played well during the IPL. So do you think that from helped you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, obviously Virat was uh, Virat uh, was in the top five run getter, so obviously it takes in a lot of confidence. And you know, I've also been batting well. It's important that you know you transfer that confidence into this tournament. After the Mumbai Indians win, do you think that confidence also? I mean, it always feels good to win a big tournament, and uh, no, I'm no different. I'm uh, very happy with the way uh, we played there. And uh, what's important is we take it as a fresh tournament and do uh, do well in this tournament and uh, go the distance. Well played. Well played. The conditions. We thought the conditions were probably not going to suit India in England, but actually those conditions weren't that different, were they, to India? Yeah, I mean, obviously the ball didn't swing as much and uh, the wicket wasn't uh, seeming around. It was, a, it was a good wicket to battle. It was a good cricketing wicket. So, uh, you know, uh, as I said, they're very happy with the way things went. And uh, what's important for us is to, you know, carry forward this momentum. Looking at the, the things that could uh, prove to be very important little marginal things, uh, are you excited by the prospect of getting to use DRS? Uh, definitely. I mean, uh, uh, DRS. DRS, uh, you know... Uh, uh, I've, uh, I'm for one, I haven't used it much, so I don't know, but uh, it's a better question to my captain, I guess. But uh, obviously, you know, for me it's exciting because I've never used it, I've just seen it on TV, so I have to just see how it goes. Uh, DK, a uh, lot's happening back home. How's the mood in the camp? Do you guys uh, know what's happening back, back home? And Looking further afield into the tournament, you're in uh, quite a tough group against uh, Pakistan, South Africa and the West Indies. How do you see that group uh, developing and um, you know, some pretty tough matches coming? Definitely. I mean, uh, this is a tournament where there's just eight teams and uh, you know, if you're in one half, you play the top three teams. So you know, if you're a good team, you need to come into the semi-finals and then take it forward <coughs> from there. And uh, knowing our team, we're capable of uh, definitely delivering goods and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that we can do a, you know, if you play to a potential, we'll, uh, we can uh, definitely go a distance in this tournament. And your thoughts, particularly on the Pakistan match on June the 15th? I mean, uh, I'm sure we'll take it as another match. Uh, it's important. Uh, we, have, we have to see how we go in the first two games. Uh, depending on that, that Pakistan game, we'll know how, uh, how it's going to pan out for us. But uh, as I said, uh, the Pakistan game is no different from the South African game. It's just uh, if you treat it as another normal game and try and go and do your best, then I'm sure we can do well. Be bearing in mind the, um, how the game today went, might you be rethinking about the balance of the side in terms of maybe playing more spinners? Go, go back to a sort of more traditional Indian side in India, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know, as I said, I'm not too uh, I'm not too aware of the team composition and stuff. All I know is uh, you know, wherever they send me to bat, I try and do my best. But uh, nah, this question is better posted to my captain regarding. Were team you surprised by the conditions? So how how familiar they seemed? How. You look very comfortable. Yeah, a lot of times in a, in a one-day game uh, in England or Australia, the wicket uh, has uh, you know some good bounce, but it's, it doesn't seem around too much as uh, too much as such. But uh, you know this was a good wicket to bat on from ball one. There was not much uh, seam movement, or you can see the shots they were playing, you know, on the up and and shots like that. So yeah, I mean uh, it was a little surprising that the wicket was so true. But it's a good thing for one-day cricket if you can get 640, 50 runs. Uh, it's a good thing for the crowds coming in. Last one. Yeah. Okay. Where do you like to bat? Uh, like I'm very happy batting in the middle order. I mean, uh, you know, I, I feel that brings out the best in me, so I'm very confident batting in the middle order. Why didn't uh, Malik play right. today? Just he arrived late, so uh, he was a bit jet lagged, so, so we didn't want to take a chance. We figured that with. Uh, hello. Uh, we figured that with two new balls, English conditions, batting could be hard work. It didn't look that tricky. Not really. I mean, the openers got a got off to a brilliant start, uh, you know, uh, followed by number three and four. So, so I thought the batters, you know, batted brilliantly. But um, with these field restrictions, with the two new balls, it's not easy for the batters and the bowlers. So, so I think it's uh, uh, it's a bit of a mixture of uh, things. But uh, you know, as long as you you execute your your plans, 
and um, as long as you you know bowl to to your plans, I, I think you'll be good. The the new balls, what well, the the white kookaburra ball doesn't appear to swing very much. Is that fair? Well, on this ground, the wicket was a bit slow, so so the ball was a bit rusty, uh, you know, after 15, 20 overs. So, well, on this ground, it was not the case, but I think, you know, on other grounds, it might be a case. Okay. Over on this side, just here. How are you finding uh, one day captaincy? Obviously, a lot of senior players are in there supporting you, but um, you seem to be making quite a few decisions on your own now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, still getting into the group. Um, you know, there's a lot of experience. We've got three captains, uh, you know, playing in the team: Leel Shan, Mahila Sangha, Kaga. So, uh, you know, they help me a lot. They give, they give a lot of advice, and you know, it's still, you know, it's still a learning curve, but there's a long way to go. And were you surprised at how flat that uh, wicket was? Do you think uh, both captains perhaps uh, misread the nature of the pitch? Not really. I mean, it looked a really good wicket. Uh, you know, from the, the you know from the start itself, uh, it was very dry. It was a bit on the slower side, but it played really well. Will this be your uh, same opening pair during your tournament as well? And tell us more about Kusal Parena, sir. Yeah, we we still haven't you know thought of our combinations yet, but um, you know Kusal has been a tremendous player for the past you know uh, three four tournaments for us, and you know he he reminds me a bit like you know the legendary Sanat Jayasuri the way he plays, and you know he's fearless. He wants to take the bowlers on, and you know we just let him you know play the way he wants. Any further questions from the floor? Okay, well thank you thank very you. much for your time.